you know, something's happening when we all just stand and <laughs> looking out the window. Well, we'd be standing outside, but it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> Onward? Or should, we let, should we let him unload? I'll just stay in here. So dad's taking off with the truck. He's heading over to our other yard to pick up our hopper bottom that I thought we were storing over there all winter and all summer. But turns out we got a lot of corn contracted here, forward contracted last year for a price that I don't even want to admit because of the cash price being now over $5. But it is what it is. You can't go back in time. And it was a okay price when we forward contracted it. But now we got to move a ton of grain in early February. So and through February, so we got our haul with all three trucks. So we gotta go get the trailer, but that other yard might be snowed in a little bit, so I'm gonna grab the Yankum rope in case we get stuck. So we actually have two trucks for the last two days hauling to a different elevator. Uh, just had 25,000 bushels to haul. So they're gonna knock that out tomorrow. There's a snowstorm coming. It ain't the best out right now, but visibility is good, roads are good. But they are definitely getting the trucks dirty. Here one is right now. That in fact was Super Trucker Clem. He's back, he's back to haul some grain for us, which is awesome. So they're gonna knock that contract out hopefully by the end of the day today so they don't have to haul in crappy weather. And actually next Monday, we'll have all three trucks on the road. So let's get to it. Japers. Hey, you almost lost your... This is the big Swede, hey, there he is. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. You made her. Wow, look at your Ford's dirty. I know, she needs a bath. Oh, that's how you rig up your switch there. For now. Look at that. Wow. Well, I was going to wait till you'd cut a hole in the dash again for me. Oh, my. You guys need a hand over there? If you want to call me, you're welcome to. I'm not dressed for the occasion. Look at your tonneau cover you got. Man, you're really upgrading her. <laughs> really upgrading her. See you over there. Oh, I guess the roads aren't very good. Look at this. Wow. It's slippery. Ah, it's cold outside. I got a shovel. Are you kidding me? Hopefully we don't need that. It's gonna blow the speakers, that guy. I tell you what, that guy. Do you think bats migrate in the winter? I don't know, I don't want another one coming down on me. It's always so exciting we, about the shed. You don't know if you're gonna live or die by the time you're done. We should migrate in the winter. Woo! I wish someone would buy those tires. Really dark rims. In It'd be great. Would be great. They're for sale. Yeah. I don't even remember what they're priced at. I need rims for my pickup. 90, 9,500 bucks or something. Does that fit on there? He's gonna come flying. He's just really getting a run at her. Oh, So that's gotta be a record. You're yeah. really giving her up. Yeah. Oh, should have brought the one inch impact. <laughs> All right, pull her out. Try back it up. A lot of banging and popping happening. One tire spinning. They're froze on. We got the uh, hammer out, I see. That's all we had. 
don't sound like they're in there. Still got one hung up. Back right one's locked up yet. Upgrading hammers, I see, from the crescent hammer to a, a big pipe. Try it. There we go. Well, one move, bottom one's free. Back, Back up. up. Yep, you're good. I'm so glad we have a heated shop to keep them in after running out on the roads or yeah. we do this every morning. Yeah. We're so blessed. Winters, gotta love it. You just gotta love it. Got Dad's coyote hunting things in the door. All right, see you at the farm. Second shipment of the day is here. Woo! Are you excited to put this on? <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Thousand pounds. Don't drop that on your toe. Yes. This is a great, it's going to be just like a DB now. Just thought I'd show you what's left of our nice wash job. Well, that ain't so bad. Got a little windy today and it's stuck on the highways pretty good. Carrying, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna guess 800 pounds of ice. You guys from down south, you don't know how lucky you are. It's quite a mess. Quite a mess. Not to mention the salt that they were putting on trying to keep the roads from getting slippery. You get the idea. Eric, got some work to do. Eric, Eric, chat. Who wants to wash? What? Volunteers. Washing volunteers? I'm busy scraping over here. Busy scraping? I see Eric's bed is here. Where is he? Did he go to his couch? He heard you yelling and ran. <laughs> look at this. Just take a look at this. Yeah. This is what uh, Larson Tight is all about. Well, we, we got didn't to scrape know. the rust off of the O-rings for the bogey wheel seals. We didn't know that, that you don't have to do that with the red ones. And now mm -hmm. we know. Now we know. Buy new O-rings when you're... Makes the project a lot better. Yeah, that should be fine. No issues here. Good thing my knife's so dull I don't cut the O-ring. Here, I'm going to leave you guys here with him. Because I got to go wash. Hey, Busy day today. A lot of stuff showed up. Got to... Side shield kit, big box. Yeah, who's gonna come and show us how to do that? It's a big box, lots of parts. Wonder, it's about the right size for a coffin. So those of you that asked the question, how we're gonna pull our NT style planter without a three point hitch on our 9420RX, obviously some of you guys caught that, well, how come it don't have a three point hitch? How are you gonna do that? Well, we're not dumb. Of course, we didn't buy a tractor that we couldn't use on our planter. So, you're gonna see what we just are getting delivered here and tell you a little bit of why we chose to go this route. Well, this is gonna allow us to not have a three-point hitch on the tractor. Otherwise, this is, how much? This is cheaper than a three-point hitch. Hey, he woke up. Oh, he's not feeling good. He's food poisoned himself on some two-week-old pizza that he ate for breakfast. I've drank 10 of these, and I'm still pissing you off. <laughs> He's dehydrated himself. <laughs> you know, there's always too much of a good thing. No more water for you today. Look at the poor big Swede. You need to go home, go home if you're down. So anyways, this converts our two-point NT 1770 planter into a draw bar, a lot like a DB. Comes out of Canada, huh? much cheaper. We went this route because it's very hard to find high horsepower tractors with three point hitches. They're out there, but they're really hard to find. And if you're thinking about ordering new, Eric's distracting me by chugging water. If you're thinking about ordering a new tractor with a three point hitch, I would highly consider 
looking into converting your planter rather than ordering a new tractor with a three point hitch for your planting tractor because this is substantially cheaper. So. Substantially? Substantially. Massive. Uh, I'll is put it there. substantially or just less? Substantially cheaper. That's correct? Okay, Eric said that's correct, so it's correct. So basically, it's gonna work out pretty good that that tractor has six remotes, so then you run it off of one remote. He's like a sick He's dog. gonna be in bed all night with the chills and the shakes from food poisoning. I wish I could work shirtless, because I'm sweating just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. Keep your shirt on, I don't wanna see it. So that, long story short, that is why we ended up with this. And even better news, if you guys want to look into this company and want to get yourself a hitch just like this for your planter, you can save 5% if you let them know through the company, if you let them know that we sent you there. So all you do is take off the two point, mm -hmm. slide this over there, and then uh, tighten This up. pin drops in. in oh, okay, yep. Yeah. And then they got the class four. Class four hitch pin? Well, I, I don't suppose know you what could have whatever you wanted. Yeah. They're gonna see this thing get put together when we get the planter in here, which will be a while yet. We're still working on tractors and everything. So we'll, we'll get, get to here. see it be installed. But the thing is built like unbelievably strong. Oh they've got the flag on there. Their flag. Feels it's in the US now. Can we put a US sticker there? Suppose we could. I wonder how they like that pipeline getting shut down. Do you think it bothers them? Do you think it bothers them? Oh yeah. So I think we covered the basis on why we chose to go that route because it's hard to find high horsepower tractors with three point hitches, especially older ones. You can find them in that model, but they were nowhere near us and through other dealerships that we don't know, so. It was like hen's teeth. Yeah. Couldn't find them. Yeah. Have you ever looked for a hen's teeth? Hen chickens, you know, with teeth? It's hard to find. Is it? Is that what they mean by hen's teeth? I don't know. I don't maybe just, Nikki just cut that out. That don't make sense, maybe. Okay, I gotta go wash a truck. Don't let that tip over on you because you will get maimed. Yep, weighs a thousand pounds. It is thick, that is thick steel. Actually, okay. I think that the steel on there is thicker than the Bauer hitch. Bauer? The factory It's a 1770. Bauer. That ain't a Bauer hitch, that's John Deere frame. What? I was talking about oh, that. Oh, you mean built the factory the... Bauer John Deere planter bar? Is that's heavier? I don't know. I'd have to look at that. Oh, it definitely looks uh, beefy. I don't know if there's going to be much left of that 1770. It's all no. We've it's all got. We stuff put on. high speed on it. The, we've uh, got uh, LDM's weight dis distribution, distribution kit. Here we go again and, with that. Um, and and now we're going to have a hitch on there. Which battery? It's a Chanel hitch. Oh, Chanel. It's got me distracted now. For coyote hunting? Yeah. I had such a headache that night after I got done. Why? Too much shooting. Was it loud? Why were you shooting so much? Huh? Yeah, did you guys go through like $300 worth of... I don't know. And I don't no! At their highly overpriced rate that they're trying to charge right now. Are hey, you, you didn't finish the these bogeys. Are you even on the camera at that angle? Oh. Probably not. See, I had to retire my brand new GoPro 9 because the audio, when this thing showed up, half the footage, junk, because there was no audio. So. What are you doing with the camera? Well, I put it on hold till they update it or I do research to figure out why the audio comes and goes with it because I can't rely on it. Can't rely on it. Well, and if I can't rely on something, you're out of here. Can I go to bed now? Just like you. You're out of here. You're fired. You we know, could make our own apprentice. you could at least not ruin the vice. You threaded it out so far. I didn't use that vice. It was Duggo, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. <laughs> well, good. He can buy a new one. Oh, my. There's more O rings to clean, too. Oh, good night. Don't put oil in any of these. I didn't tighten them yet. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we're going to continue working on this thing. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you guys back here next time. Thanks for watching.